Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Roger and today we're going to do a few missions for level 4 security in Amar Space. Before I forget, please click on the subscribe button for me so I can grow my channel. I'd really appreciate that. It's completely free and it will alert you to my new content. Let's get started. Alright everyone, let's talk about the fittings that we're using on the Golem today for our level 4 security mission. First, the rigs. I got a large core defense capacitor safeguard. This basically reduces the draw on the capacitor of all of these shield modules that I've got going on over here. And then I have the large capacitor control circuit which basically increase the ship's capacitor recharge rate. Then I'm using two of the Dread Giratus cruise missile launchers and with those I'm using the EM damage missiles and then I have two of the Domination Cruise Missile Turrets, and with those I'm using the Kinetic Damage Missiles. Then I have my Bastion Module, my Drone Link Augmenter, which increases the range that my drones can fly. Yeah, Drone Control Range. Then I have the Auto Targeting System, which I always forget to use, so look forward to that. And for some reason I have a small tractor beam on here, which is also pointless because I use a different ship to do my salvaging now so that's pretty funny too and then I have my uh, large extra large shield booster uh, my shield boost amplifier which works off of the the booster it just magnifies the amount it, it heals per tick then I have my large shield extender could probably find a better use for that slot but I, I look kind of like my have an extra hit points on my shield. Then we have a multi-spectrum shield harder, a thermal, and a kinetic damage shield harder. I have my target painter which is very important with this build because without the target painter my cruise missiles have an exceptionally hard time dealing damage to the little ships and this helps let's see what the exact wording is on it. Show info a targeting subsystem that projects an electronic tag on the target thus making it easier to target and hit. Yep, so that's exactly what we want. And then I have four of the Kaldari Navy Ballistic Control Systems. Uh, rate of Fire Bonus and Missile Damage Bonus is what it does. I could technically take one of these off and make it so that my capacitor is stable by fitting a different module on there but it's not really needed to do these missions. I like the extra damage and so that's the way I'm rolling today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's a work in progress. I change things in and out here and there depending on how I'm feeling that day but uh, this is seems to work well for me and Honestly, it's a bit overkill sometimes, but hey, it's all fun. It's all good. Whatever you guys like. So uh, let's get into it. All right, pilots. For this section in the video, I'm turning it up to times two speed. With that being said, uh, it'll turn the video into about a half hour instead of an hour and 20 minutes, which is what I'm going for. First, I'd like to talk about drones. Drones are semi-autonomous vehicles launched from ships and designed to augment the ship's capabilities. All four races use drones to a greater or lesser degree. So many ships, especially larger ships, will have drone capabilities, while most drones are used for support like we are today to enhance our damage. There are drones for specialized uses like mining, electronic warfare, and logistics like healing your other people's shields. Compared to other weapons in EVE, drones provide a great deal of flexibility, but on the other hand, drones need to travel to their targets before applying damage, and they can be destroyed by enemy fire, which brings me to my drone selection for today on the Golem. We're using light scout drones called Hornet 2s. The reason why I'm using these particular drones is because they have incredibly because they are incredibly fast and are incredibly difficult to hit. Which cuts down on my replacement costs. 
I also have my Kaldari drone specialization skill maxed out, which gives me 2% bonus damage per level. Once in a while I use Vespa 2s, but I end up losing a few of those on mission runs. Next we need to talk about bandwidth. Bandwidth is your ship's ability to control drones in space, and is measured in mbit slash sec. You can only deploy as many drones as you have available bandwidth on your ship. Your ship's bandwidth is fixed and is not affected by skills or modules. Usually Galante ships have higher bandwidth in my experience, but certain ships in most races vary on bandwidth. And then pilots, that brings us to control range. You can only command a drone to attack a target that is within your control range. By default, your control range is 20 km. This range can be extended by training, and also a drone link augmenter or a drone control range augmenter, which we have one equipped on our golem today. Another reason I use small drones on the golem is because they do very well against agile targets like enemy frigates. Larger drones, in particular, are almost useless against fast frigates. One more pro tip of the day about drones I'm going to give you is, is when you warp into a pocket with a bunch of bad guys, don't deploy your drones until after you pulled the pocket with whatever type of weapon you're using. Make sure that you get the aggro on your ship before you send your drones in, otherwise they're just going to get destroyed immediately by every ship targeting them before it tar they target you. Alright pilots, I'm going to let you finish the rest of this song and enjoy some gameplay before we get into the missiles section of this video. Enjoy. Alright pilots, thanks for sticking around. Let's go over some of the advantages and disadvantages of missiles. First, they cannot miss, right? So that's awesome. <laughs> the target, as long as the target is within range. So they will always hit. That being said, the amount of damage they do varies with the target's speed and size. So if you're going after a bunch of frigates, 
I'd recommend light or heavy missiles. Battle cruises on up, cruise missiles, and for torpedoes, probably battleships, capital ships, and large stationary targets. There are four different types of missiles categories. EM damage, which is primarily against good against shields. Then we have explosive, kinetic, and thermal. Select a damage type you prefer. Another pro in missiles is that they don't really have optimal falloff ranges or optimal ranges. They do just as much damage at long or short ranges. The biggest disadvantage is probably that missiles can take a long time to reach their targets, especially at long ranges, which means your damage is delayed. The range of your missile is shown on the mouse over tooltip of your launchers while in a missile boat in space. This takes into account your ship's bonuses, modules, and skills. You can also check the show info on your missile, but this won't show any of the bonuses. Now missile damage is dependent on explosion radius and explosion velocity. Your explosion radius tells you how big the explosion is. A larger explosion will spread out its damage over a larger area. But do less damage to small ships. A small explosion radius will concentrate its damage in a smaller area and do more damage to smaller ships. The attribute on your ship that controls this is called the signature radius. Signature radius of a ship affects how fast other people can target lock you, how easy it is to hit, and how much damage missiles do to that ship. In the end, your skills affect all this stuff significantly, but most times rockets and smaller missile types are good against frigates. If you want to be the best missile boat you can, I recommend learning everything to level 5 but obviously keep in mind that if you don't survive the mission, none of your missile skills will buy you a new ship. Alright guys, don't go away, because before this video is over, we're still going to go over level 1, 2, 3, and 4 missile ships and how much it's going to cost you to get yourself into one of them.
Okay, let's talk about how much it's going to cost to, to get a missile ship for level 1 or 2 missions, level 3, and level 4 missions. I'm going to use Kaldari mostly as a guide here, mainly because they have the most ships that specialize in missiles, and I'm going to throw in some Mimitar as well. For level 1 and 2 missions, I recommend either the Kestrel, if you want a frigate, or the Korax for a missile destroyer. Or if you want to go Minmatar ships, I recommend the Breacher or a Talwar Minmatar destroyer. The Amar don't currently have a frigate or destroyer that offers bonuses to missiles. Now please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying missiles are the best or missile hype or anything like that. They're just my choice for consistent long range damage. Now if you want a good missile boat for level 3 missions, I recommend either the Kaldari Drake Battlecruiser, and that's about all I recommend. <laughs> now for level 4 missions it gets a bit tricky. You can use a Kaldari Raven Battleship, however, there is going to be a few level 4 missions that you're going to have to kite it out. You're going to have to kite away or warp out and reset your shields. And to reduce this, you can either get the Navy version of the Navy Raven issue battleship, or you can learn skills and get the basically the Tech 2 modules that you need to, to withstand these fights. Now with some advanced flying techniques, I think you could also use a Typhoon. But you're going to need to be careful how you pull your pockets and get your shield modules set up properly. The Typhoon Fleet issue will help you out with this for double the price, of course. Okay, so prices on the ships and equipment uh, we're going to need to are going to basically vary drastically. That being said, a Kestrel, I think you could get one equipped. For two to five million isk. The Korax, I think four to ten million isk, you could get a fairly equipped one. The Drake, we're starting to get up there. The Drake is gonna be about 150 to 300 million isk to get equipped properly to take on level threes and fours. Or even a couple billion. If you want to try to make a Drake go into do level tier four missions, it's gonna cost a lot. Um, now, for the Raven, for tier 4s, can vary between 500 million isk, well equipped, all the way up to 4 billion, depending on how crazy you want to get, and with your fittings. That being said, the best way to go for missile ships on, T on the T4 missions is going to be either the Navy Raven or the Golem ship that I'm using here today. Now, keep in mind, that on this one T4 mission that I'm doing right here, I'm going to get between 25 and 30 million isk after I salvage everything. Subscribe. Alright fellow pilots, this video is taking a little bit longer than I'd like it to, so I'm going to hit the afterburners for us. Hang on tight, because I'm turning it up.
Alright pilots, I'm Roger. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell for my next installment. As always, fly safe out there and keep that target painter locked on.